Welcome back to Condo Life. Isn't life grand? We will cover what you should know when you're looking for a condo. To make your condo and your condo life first class. So today we're going to be covering a number of issues. The thing that I would be looking at also is a great property, a great view, and a great developer. And we had all four. Oh, but I only named three. Oh, there was one extra one. We're living in an urban center, but I'm sort of a wilderness kind of guy. We got lots of wild animals around us. They're fairly tame, but they're still wild. That's beautiful. The other thing that uh, I would like to say, I also did our research on the developer and are very pleased with Kirkhoff Construction, not only as a developer, but as a person. Then the next area I would focus on is uh, keeping up with their contingency fund. Going to be the area that I live in in British Columbia, the contingency funds are going to be mandatory and going up to 10%, but there was a lot of condos that were not paying the proper amount. And so if there was a big cost that was took place, they would uh, like a roof or something that had to be repaired then there would be a, a special levy that could cause difficulty with people having to pay that. So take a look at the contingency reserve fund, make sure there's adequate money in there to do that. The depreciation report that they would like to have us put in actually has got disclaimers all through it. And the BC real estate has stated that we should be doing our own due diligence. What? do our own due diligence after we paid $138,075 for a plan. So uh, that has not worked so good for us. And in the depreciation report, it also has a lot of things that is inaccurate. They refer to the garage doors and we only have one garage door. So I'm not sure if they were in our building or somebody else's building. And were they actually using a boilerplate or some sort of a cut and paste deal but uh, it didn't seem to line up with the building that we have. In my opinion, I believe we will have to do our own depreciation report and uh, built into it also a preventative maintenance system. Right now, what I wanted to show you is the difference between what RJC Engineering and Ingleside, the depreciation report writer had to say. In this particular one, the situation with RJC is uh, going to be $750,000 to restore the balconies. And the one with Ingleside for the balconies is $295,693. Those are so far apart that they will never work for us. Actually, a report like that is more harmful than actually no report at all. The balconies are all cast concrete and we've got aluminum powder coated uh, window frames that's in there. I don't see where it's going to get any kind of a leak unless it's the doors or, or the window and we've already did them unless we're doing some double dipping. It just doesn't look really good. By what you see here, you'll certainly know that I'm not an accountant or investor. I just want you to think of the water going in there in that pail is actually money. Not only is it money, it is your money. Now I want you to look at this particular pail. There's, this is a, a pail with water going out of it. Hey, that's your money. So you've probably not seen that in a lot of the living in condo ones and the financial reports that they put on it. What do they see as a solution? The solution, what they see is give us more money, give us more money. We don't have enough money, much like what we hear from the government today. Is there other solutions? Sure there is. Preventative maintenance can plug up some of these holes so we don't have as many leaks. The first thing I thought of when I seen that leaking bucket that you just noticed there, I thought about our depreciation report. And it made me think, you know, what are we going to get from this depreciation report? I know we got to pay a lot of money, but uh, what are we going to get? Won't get a nail, won't get a screw, won't get a roll of tape, won't get a can of paint. There's nothing like that. Oh, forgot. There will be one thing that we're gonna get. 
that's going to be disclaimers. I call them bailouts. They're not responsible for this. They're not responsible for that. They're not responsible for anything. And we're paying a lot of money for that. For that 30 year plan, if we go through with it, with the intervals to update the plan along the way, it's gonna cost us $138,075. But that's only for the plan. Now you gotta get the money that uh, the plan shows you're gonna need. Plus the strata is responsible for any common area costs as well. And what about the preventative maintenance we want to save money from? A good and responsible plan can be a good thing, but the plans that I've seen for our depreciation report for the stratas really don't uh, look that effective and are very costly and misleading as well. Now, I know the banks want us to get it, the real estate companies want us to get it, the insurance companies want us to get it. They hope we got a big bag of money here because if something happens, they're not responsible for it because we got the money and we can just pay for that. And the only thing is, I agree it'll probably help them. These are the same ones that uh, don't want to be responsible for any breakdowns or anything that a buyer or a borrower or somebody getting insurance will uh, make them responsible for. But they're not paying anything for it. We're paying for the whole thing ourselves. I don't think we were sitting around them boardroom tables when they figured this out. If they were, we probably would have got a little better deal than what, what we're getting. And the money's going to be sitting down there and we're going to make from their report, 3% on the bank, but it's going to be our 4.5% we're going to lose because of inflation. Like I said before, I wasn't that great at math, but I can figure that one out. Uh, that's not really a good thing. And they're waiting for the money's going to be sitting there until something in our strata dies. And if a roof fails or something, something dies on us, we can have it fixed. So that doesn't sound like a preventative maintenance to me. It is a PM system, but I would call it a post-mortem. In other words, it's dead, so now we're gonna go and revive it and get it a going. I would sooner have preventative maintenance. This is our preventative maintenance. The contractor that uh, put the roof on has a contract with us now to look after it, maintain it, repair it, and make sure that it's in good order so we do not have to get a big shock and have to have a special levy. We're going to be looking after that roof and we feel a lot more comfortable with that. Plus, so money we're going to be spending on maintaining it is going to come out of our annual budget. We have other contracts like that. Good preventative maintenance system out of our budget. And the other thing I'd like to mention as well is Aristotle. He's that Greek philosopher and he coined an expression that I was thinking about, and that is that he made the first coining of this phrase where the whole is greater than the sum of the total parts. So with all the people that we have in this unit, we've got realtors, we've got accountants, we've got IT people, we've got media people, we've got those in the engineering, We've got those and business people. We got pilots. We got doctors. We got dentists. We got teachers. We got nurses. We got hairdressers. We even got tradespeople, and there's an awful lot more. So we can gain a lot of synergy from that particular deal. Like I'm gonna eat some of my wife's cookies here, so I got one, two, three. Okay, let's say four cookies I can eat. Oh, I forgot. The synergy, I get to eat one more cookie too, so that's another one. So I think with the synergy and the group we got here that's living here 365 days a year, we can keep our contingency fee growing and we can do our own plan. Human resources are extremely valuable, just as other resources are. We have a building manager that's worked here a number of years and knows a lot about our building. We also have a strata manager that can give us advice on things that we're doing as well. A lot of experience. Then we have service providers that's been working here out of our annual budget, giving us assistance as well, that also knows our building very well. Our developer, Kirkhoff Construction, and they've helped me a great deal. I appreciate that, that. We're looking forward to being able to make a change with our chiller. 
We are running glycol in the winter in our chiller, and then we're draining it and putting water in in the summer. We want to switch it so we can run glycol year-round, and they're going to assist us with the planning so that uh, make sure that thermal efficiency will allow us to do that, thanks to the Kirkhoffs. But if you think I'm missing something, then I would suggest you get a hold of me and tell me what I'm missing, because uh, I couldn't see it. I'm going to do a full review depreciation report later. It'll be very, very extensive. And we're looking at this very closely. So that's going to just about do me, I think, for this one. And we'll move on. Just going to have a bite of the cookie here first. I'm going to call it a synergy cookie. There's a great gratitude that one gets from accomplishing things. And we see it here in our strata where we have people that go out and they volunteer whether it's on our sprinkler system or whether it's on the landscaping or the plants or whatever it might be. And it's really great to see that. But not only is it great to see that, but it saves us a great deal of money here. So in other words, we can be part of the solution when it comes to our contingency funds and areas like that. And also to when it comes to the putting money aside for a 30 year plan. And on many cases, there's nobody that knows our building better than us that are here 365 days a year. So I think that we all can really contribute towards a real happy and great strata. And I gotta say, we're well on our way. We also want to thank our council for assisting along the way. They're doing a great job. I'm not saying recycling is going to solve the, that issue, but it can help you. We actually get about a hundred and some dollars a week. When you consider we got 52 weeks, we'll be making $5,000 a year or a little bit better. This can all go into preventative maintenance and some social things to have great communities, and it can help us get to the solution. A very old and inspirational book said that charity begins at home. So we're hoping it's going to help us as we deal with our depreciation. Okay, a little bit anyway. The best quotes from law and lawyers. I picked uh, one of them, and that is, quote, In law, nothing is certain. Oh, forgot. Except one thing, and that is the expenses. Be careful that you don't get tied up in some legal battle when you buy into a strata. Just make sure everything is clean. Now we're going to bring series number three to an end. Condo living. Life is grand. And we're going to do some more. we got quite a bit more to do on condo living. So come on back. We're even going to be covering your own unit and some of the things you should be doing there. So we see in series number four. Condo living. Life is grand.